Place is a horror franchise that has managed to remain consistent throughout all three of these movies. All three of them are very effective and intense, and they are proof that PG-13 horror can be scary. They don't even show that much blood or gore. The Quiet Place New One is another worthy entry to this franchise. This time, we follow two new characters, and both of them are interesting. And what I really appreciate about all these movies is they have disability representation without making the character with a disability this crutch or this plot device. It ticks me off when horror movies do that. Like, they'll put a disabled character in the movie, but they'll be like, oh, they can't run, and they always need help, and they need to be defended, and poor them, pity them. It just feels so tacky and cheap. But, you know, the first two movies had the little deaf girl who ends up becoming the hero of the movie by the end. And this one, it's a woman with cancer, and instead of having her be this character who needs to be saved by everybody, they make her independent interesting. Despite having cancer, she still finds a way to appreciate simple things in life. Like, her whole goal in this movie is to get pizza. And she doesn't care that she needs to survive against killer aliens. She's got her pizza garden. This is also a movie where the characters are actually smart. There weren't any scenes where I was thinking, what many things you could have done? Why did you make that decision? And so they, all these characters are, are really smart. They're like, this is a smart way to solve that problem without having the aliens come after you. So these two new characters are great. What makes this movie effective is after the first 15 minutes or so, the whole movie is quiet, obviously. If you've seen this franchise, you know that. So you never know if there's going to be a jump scare or if it's just going to be a scene for character development. So I was constantly on the edge waiting for a jump scare. Let's see what's going to happen. And when they do come up, they're actually effective and they don't feel cheap. Like, the first time I scared this movie, I have to cover my mouth because I actually ought to be screamed, and that doesn't happen to me a lot when I watch horror movies, so it was effective. I'm very thankful that we do get Quiet Place Part 3, because this strange movie seems not get out of the park, and each movie feels more intense than the last. Quiet Place Day 1 for me gets A+, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 stars.